Hi you guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel. If you're new here, I'm Stephanie Rose and I post vlogs, fashion videos, beauty videos, and lifestyle videos. So don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and don't forget to thumbs up this video. I'm getting ready to travel. I'm actually leaving tomorrow. We are traveling to Antigua and if you're a regular viewer of mine, I've been talking about this trip for so long just because I'm so, so, so excited. So I wanted to film an updated what's in my carry-on bag video. I think it's been maybe a couple years since I've filmed this video. I love the good old fashioned what's in my bag, what's in my purse, what's in my school bag, what's in my work bag, my travel bag, my gym bag, all the bag videos. I know those are so old school. I still love watching them and making these type of videos. So I wanted to do an update of what's in my carry-on bag and show you all the essentials I bring with me on the plane, everything I need with me in flight and just everything I need to be comfortable while I travel. So I am going to show you everything that's in my base mini convertible weekender bag. I am so obsessed with this bag. I need to put this down because it's really heavy, but um, I just got this a few months ago. A little info about the bag. This is from base. I have a few pieces from them. I do have the regular size weekender. This is the mini one. So it's a lot smaller, even though it looks large, it's a lot smaller than the regular weekender bag. I like the regular weekender bag, but it's just really large. And I don't know if that counts as like a carry on or like a personal item. This is my personal item. And I also have my base carry on luggage. So that's gonna be the two things I bring with me on the plane. So I think this is a really good personal size. I think according to the website, it's like, you know, meets TSA standards. So this is the beige color. They also have black. I have the black regular size weekender bag, but I really like the, the beige one a lot better. I just feel like it's so cute and it just looks so nice for traveling. It is super functional. It helps me organize my stuff really, really well. A couple features I really like about the bag is the little, um, I forgot what this is called, but you can like put it over your carry-on bag and so that it won't slip off, keeps it nice and secure. And what I really love about this is this little extra compartment down here which has all my clothes in it, not all my clothes, but like I put a good amount of clothes in here. So it's really great for some extra room. You can put shoes in here, um, pretty much anything. And I literally call this my Mary Poppins bag because the way it just like plops open like this, it literally looks like Mary Poppins bag. And there's two type of weekender bags at base. There's the regular weekender and then the convertible weekender. So the convertible weekender means that this little section down here, you can completely take it off and just carry the bag without this bottom piece. With the regular weekender bag, you can't take the bottom part off. So I like that you have the option of, you know, making your bag smaller and lighter if you want to and not carrying that part around. So I will get into what is in my bag. So like I said, the bottom section is all closed. It's nothing exciting, but I'll show you what it looks like. So there's that bottom section. Like I said, you can take it off, um, but I just have like all of my dresses, all of my vacation outfits. I put all my nighttime, like dip going out dinner outfits in there. Um, so that's really all that's in there. I'll start off with the outside zipper pocket. There is one little pocket here on the outside. I don't really think I have anything in here actually. I just have a chapstick in case I need to quickly reach for a chapstick and then I have a couple pens. You never know when you're gonna need to write something. So that's all that's in that pocket. I tried to keep that pocket not so um, full because I don't want it to be too like clumpy on the outside. So moving on to the inside, here's what you see when you open up the bag. So starting off with this side, there is one zipper here. It's a very big compartment and all I have in here are snacks. If you can see, I love to bring snacks with me on the plane. Um, I usually buy snacks at the airport too, but just to save some money, I brought snacks with me. And also when we're at the resort, we're gonna want snacks. I know you can buy snacks there, but I'm all about like trying to save money as much as you can. So we got some little mini um, Cheez-Its. I also packed some in my suitcase too. This is just for if you get hungry at the airport or on the plane. And then I have these individually wrapped Pop-Tarts. And then also in this pocket, I have a bunch of masks because I still like to wear masks at the airport and on the plane, so we're definitely gonna still wear masks. And then on the other side of the bag, there's this really big slip. This bag also comes with a leather case, like a leather slip case for your laptop, so that's really nice. Um, I'm not gonna bring that with me. I'm not bringing a computer with me. I'm just gonna bring my iPad. I downloaded some movies. If you go on like Netflix or on Hulu, you can download movies, so even though you don't have 
Wi-Fi and you're on airplane mode. If you have downloaded movies on those apps, you can still watch them. So I usually do that before a flight. I also downloaded some games. Hopefully they work without Wi-Fi. Um, so yeah, I just brought that. And then I did bring a book. I have this book by Colleen Hoover, Ver Variety, is that how it's called? Verity, I think it's Verity, yeah. I bought this book literally last year. I never got around to reading it, so we're going to like a nice beachy tropical place. I'm gonna definitely wanna read on the beach. So I'm gonna finally start this book, heard great things about it. I'm very excited to read this on the plane and on the beach. And then I just have socks, just a spare. Alrighty, and then this bag also has a couple of smaller pockets right here. So in this one pocket, I have some travel size Clorox disinfecting wipes. I like to disinfect my seat on the plane. I also have a travel size Lysol disinfecting spray. It's a spray my area. And then I got a hand sanitizer, very important to have that. And then I have my Aquaphor jumbo size balm stick. I use this for my lips, so. Um, I'm obsessed with this thing. I got this on Amazon. It took like three weeks to get here because I think they don't sell this anywhere. I could never find this, but it was on Amazon. And then the other pocket, we have some important documents. I have my wallet. It's a Chanel wallet. And then I also have my passport. And I love my new passport cover. I just got this from Goyard. And it has like some slips here for cards. I was thinking of putting my credit cards here and using this as a wallet as well, but I just don't feel comfortable like not having my wallet. I feel more secure when I have a wallet. So um, yeah, I brought that. And then I have my boyfriend's passport too. I'm holding on to both of our passports. So I only have three little um, travel bags in here. This one is an electronics organizer. It's very bulky because I got a lot of bulky stuff in here, but this thing is great for traveling if you have a lot of different electronics. So I'm a content creator, so I have cameras, different like chargers and batteries for my camera. So I have everything nicely organized and sectioned off here. This is a tripod for my camera, my spare camera battery, AirPods. Um, I have a Bluetooth remote in case we want to take like photos. And then I have an extra memory card for my camera. And then it has two different sides. So on the other side, I have my phone charger. And then this is my charger for my camera battery. So I think I wanna get a new one that like allows for more space. Cause as you can see, it's very bulky and um, really hard to zip up. But for now this works. This is like five bucks on Amazon, it's super affordable. And it just helps me keep track of everything in one place. This next bag is like my comfort bag. I am a very anxious traveler. I have asthma, I have anxiety. I'm a slight, slight hypochondriac. Like I always feel like my health is in danger. So I packed all of my like health things in here, my vitamins, my supplements, just things to you know help me feel better in case I need it. So I have a lot of random things in here. I'll go through everything. I'm literally cracking up myself because I am so funny packing all these things. But I brought a little VIX. I don't think I need VIX. Like I usually use this when I have a sore throat or when I feel sick. I am not sick. Um, but you never know when you need VIX. That's just the inner foreign in me. I brought some CBD drops. These are from Equilibria. I'm obsessed with these CBD drops. They really help relax me. So if you have anxiety, CBD drops are great because it doesn't have the THC, but it has like the same calming effects as it. So I absolutely love that stuff. And then we got my inhaler. And then I have a bunch of liquid IV packs. You gotta stay hydrated. I have this phobia that I'm gonna pass out because I'm dehydrated. So I brought so many liquid IVs and we're going to a hot place. So we gotta stay hydrated. And then I brought a few tampons. I don't think I'm gonna be on my period when we're there, but I think I'm supposed to get it either the day we come back or the day after. So just in case, brought some of those. And then I have Tums. I have very bad heartburn. I got a little travel size of the um, anti-nausea medicine. Sometimes I get air sickness. These things are literally the best. This brand Hilma, I've loved them for a couple years. And these are little packets that you can put in water. And this is for when you have like upset stomach. It helps to relieve, yeah, just like upset stomach, bloating and all that stuff. So I have two of these packets. You can put them in water. And then this is like the pill version of it. And yeah, it helps to relieve occasional heartburn and acid indigestion, upset stomach. It's all natural. It has like natural ingredients like chamomile, ginger, artichoke leaf, licorice, marshmallow root. So I've been taking these every time I travel because every time I travel, I, what is that called? Traveler's stomach 
or travelers something like where your stomach hurts all the time when you travel you have problems going to the bathroom sometimes if you know what I mean so ever since I started using these while I travel I get instant relief when I get stomach aches so such a necessity for me when I travel and I also have a few packets of emergency just in case got a couple band-aids in here I have this thing called Quan Lung, which um, if you're Asian you probably know what this is this is like a kind of like an ointment it's a pain relieving ointment but what I do with this is I smell it uh, whenever I feel nauseous or anxious and the smell of it it's kind of like a like a peppermint almost it's a really strong scent that kind of like wakes up your nervous system and kind of like puts your body into shock. Not shock, but like, yeah, basically just like wakes up your nervous system. So I smell this when I'm feeling any type of way and it makes me feel better. So the last thing I have in here is my travel pill case from Amazon. I'm obsessed with this thing. I don't like take medication, but I take so many vitamins and supplements. So I always wanna make sure I have them with me when I travel. These are multivitamin gummies, my probiotics. I have Tylenol down here. These are some debloating pills from JS Health. Uh, I got some calcium, B12, iron, and I think the other one is vitamin C. So, such a great little handy dandy, anesthetically pleasing travel pill case. This was like $7 on Amazon. I'll link all these things um, that I'm mentioning. So that's all that's in this little bag. And the last thing I think in this entire bag is my makeup bag and I usually travel with my huge cosmetic case but I wanted to pack lately so I managed to fit everything in this small case which I'm very shocked and proud about so this little makeup bag is from Gucci I absolutely love it super cute and I don't know I don't think I'll go through all my makeup but literally everything's in here my beauty blender foundation bronzer um, contour stick I got a powder in here um, my refi eyebrow gel I don't plan on wearing that much makeup because when I get tan and I go to the beach I don't want to wear makeup that much um, I like to try to be all natural as I can but I just brought this in case I want to glam up and yeah you guys so that's everything that's in my carry-on bag I feel very organized with all my little bags and compartments and especially this weekender bag is a great way to organize all of your on-flight essentials I have a lot of stuff in there but I managed to you know put it over my shoulder without my shoulder hurting another thing I wanted to mention about the bag that I really like is these straps they're very comfortable it's like a really soft leather it's pretty thick too so yeah, when I carry it on my shoulder, it's very comfortable. It also has a longer strap that I don't really use, but it's nice to have just in case. So yeah, I'm very obsessed with this bag. So I will link this in my description, the exact one that I have. I'll also link all the Amazon little things I mentioned, the pill case, the electronics organizer, and anything else that I mentioned. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next video after this that I'm posting on my channel is going to be my vacation vlog. So if you wanna catch that vlog, make sure to turn on notifications. It's gonna be a really good vlog because we're going all out with the content. We got a drone, we got a GoPro. We're gonna just film everything and make it seem like you guys are there with us. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video.